A new morning is rising on our community, the Yachat. We came here to the edge of the country, facing the Dead Sea from Jerusalem to Galilee and the plains. We abandoned families, friends, and work to come to the place where we can purify ourselves and properly prepare for the final war. Every Jew who came along did so to get close to the right way and to stay away from the sons of darkness, evil people. Among them you will even find high priests from Jerusalem. He who believes in our way is the son of light, and when the final war begins, all our opponents will be destroyed. But in the meantime, we are here. Here in this holy place, no one can distract our minds from worshiping the Lord. We don't possess much, and the little we have we share equally. The good Lord, he supplies us with all our needs, even in this barren desert. This morning, while working in the date grove, a neighbor from Enoch Kandem, a five-hour walk from here, passed by. He told us of the bitter end of one John the Baptist, whose head was severed by King Herod. Suddenly, I remembered, we too had one by the name of John. Years ago, he came to us and requested to volunteer. Each new candidate undergoes a thorough examination and, once accepted for a season of study, joins us in work as well. At the end of two years' time, just before becoming a full member, he arose, broke his vow to Yaha, and left. Twice daily, we bathed together in the purifying bath in order to be sanctified in the pure waters. After bathing, we gather together to dine. First, we taste from the pure bread that was prepared for us by the high priests, and then from the wine. When we went for our evening's toil, we inscribed the high priest's words, describing the Lord who created the spirits of light and darkness, and thereupon based every being. The first was greatly loved by God, each of its actions desired. The second, and all that it encompassed, he despised forever. At the end of a day's work, we bathed again, and after purifying ourselves, gathered together for the evening meal. We dined in reverent silence, even when troublesome thoughts prey upon us. After the meal, I arose and asked for permission to speak. Could it be that the man who was murdered, of whom we heard from the passerby, was the same John that was with us and then left? It is not the same man and in truth we would be better employed in the studies of the Holy Scriptures rather than wasting our time in the idle talk that spoils the spirit of Yahweh. The wrath that ensued was so great that a remark was noted in the book in my disfavor. After having been punished, things calmed, and we resumed our studies as we do every night until a third of the night has passed. But of these things I am not permitted to tell you. We may not reveal our secrets to anyone. Only we, the sons of light, are allowed to share the secrets of Yahad. This alone may be revealed. All is predestined. There is no free will. Even before the time of creation, it was inscribed that you, somewhere in the future, would hear and see these words. It is God's wondrous plan that brought you today to this pure and sacred place. And God willing, perhaps the secrets may be revealed unto you. In the year 68 CE, just before the Roman army arrived in this part of the country, members of the Yachad hid their writings and put them for safekeeping in the caves surrounding us. Only 1900 years later was the treasure accidentally found inside vessels like those you see before you.